Sometimes what happens is the uh, femur has a hard time moving in the socket. It essentially sits deeply impacted uh, and encapsulated by a lot of structural tissue designed to, to support and make this a very stable joint. But we're gonna do just a little bit of a test by bringing the hip into flexion. I'm gonna bring it through and across. I wanna softly palpate with the thenar eminence of my left hand her outer hip joint. So sort of where the greater trochanter is. I just want it to rest right in there. And as I bring it into a little bit of external rotation, I want to check and see that that's actually happening. And it's not. There's a, a lot of uh, resistance in through there. So I'm going to bring my the sort of side of my neck, side of my waist, my rib cage down into her thigh. I'm using my upper body's weight to sort of press and compress her thigh bone back into the acetabulum, while at the same time I'm using my left hand to compress the thigh bone through the greater trochanter into the hip joint. I can do a little bit of internal and external rotation in this position to just try and spring that joint and give it the sense of uh, proprioceptive awareness that I want to generate because once it starts to understand what could be versus what is it's gonna want to go there so with that compression a little bit internal rotation I'm even jostling the joint it's starting to release I can feel the thigh bone starting to slide back into its capsule. And even in this position, I can actually traction the thigh bone out of that joint. Remember there's that deep ligament holding the ball into the acetabulum. It's, it's not going to decompress. It's a very structurally sound joint. But once I've got that little space that I've created, I'm going to come out of it and just gently with that traction, I want to stay composed and in control of the joint through the knee and the hip, supporting the knee and the hip and the ankle. A really nice way to come out of this is uh, almost like a figure four. It's nice to keep the toes drawn back towards the shin, my hands clutching at the heel, my forearm is bringing that stretch into it, and then a little bit of distraction for the thigh out of the pelvis. Sometimes it can be nice even to wrap around that outer fibular head and just give a little bit of distraction from it while you posteriorly rotate the ilium. Finding that uh, relationship between the iliotibial band, tensor fascia lata, um, a little bit of internal rotation and just checking in with the pelvis. If it's necessary, this can be nice on the other side as well.